Britain declared war on Germany on August the 4th, 1914. In the first few weeks of the conflict, German forces quickly advanced through Belgium and France, wiping out large sections of the British army. Defences at the front became so thin that Britain had to quickly call in reinforcements from elsewhere. In September 1914, soldiers began to arrive from India, which is present-day India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. During the course of the war, a total of 1.5 million Indian soldiers came over and fought for Britain. Amongst these 1.5 million brave soldiers, there were over 400,000 Muslim soldiers, and at least 89,000 of these Muslims were recorded as having given their lives for Britain. It is a little known fact that 20% of all British Empire recruits were actually Muslims. In addition to the Muslim soldiers who fought for Britain, an additional 280,000 Algerians, Moroccans and Tunisians fought for the Allies, taking the total of Muslim contribution to almost 700,000 Muslim soldiers. According to military historian Gordon Corrigan, if the Indian Army hadn't arrived when it did, the Germans may well have broken through and they may well have got to the Channel ports. And the whole history of the war may well have been very different. Some of these Muslim soldiers were awarded the highest military decoration, the Victoria Cross, awarded for valour in the face of the enemy. An exhibition developed by the British Muslim Heritage Centre gives an insight into the selfless sacrifice of Muslim soldiers who valiantly fought for the freedoms and privileges that we take for granted in Great Britain and Europe today. Many British Muslims today, if not most, are direct descendants of those Muslim soldiers. At a time when the Muslim community is continually in the media spotlight, with some of our society calling into question their loyalty to British values and to the British way of life, we hope that this initiative will go a long way to finding common ground. The people that have worked towards this have done so with incredible vision. So the curator, the committee, the people that have fronted it all up, secured the funding, put in the hard work, but also had the vision to see this. Because this was visualised before it ever became real. Uh, and I think that's fantastic. I think if people come here with their families, with their children, uh, it, it will ingrain this idea in them at a young age uh, that different groups within this country have contributed in their own way but to a common cause. So at, an, at a familial level essentially, you know, if kids come here that can increase their